Hi and welcome back to Show Says Classes. Today we are going to be solving the ACE June 2017 question paper. Let's start off with our first question. If fx equals to 2x minus 3, then if inverse of x is among the following options. Let's see how to do this. The first step is let y equals to fx which is equals to 2x minus 3 or x equals to y plus 3 by 2 which is equals to f inverse of y thus f inverse of x equals to x plus 3 whole divided by 2. Thus b x plus 3 by 2 is the correct answer. Let's see another question. If p equals to root 5 minus root 3 whole divided by root 5 plus root 3 and q equals to 1 by p, what is the value of p plus q square? These are the following options. Let's see which is the correct answer and how to do this. Therefore cp plus q equals to root 5 minus root 3 whole divided by root 5 plus root 3 plus root 5 plus root 3 sorry this will be whole square let us take it take it under the same bracket root 5 minus root 3 And upon solving, this comes as 16 by 2, which is equals to 8. Thus, P plus Q square equals to 64. And as I have already written, it's option number C. Let's see another very nice question from ACET 2017. The next question says that if the sum of two unit vectors is a unit vector, then the magnitude of the difference is, let's see how to do it again, mod of A vector equals to mod of B vector which is equals to mod A vector plus B vector according to formula, thus this equals to 1. Now mod A vector plus B vector whole square equals to a plus b vectors dot a plus b vector which equals to mod a whole square plus mod b whole square plus 2 a vector dot b vector Thus, a vector dot b vector equals to minus half and thus it follows that a vector minus b vector whole square equals to 3 and mod of a vector minus b vector equals to root over 3. Thus, option number D will be the correct answer. Now, the next question is, the value of integration log x dx with base 2 is assuming c is a cons constant. Let's see what that integration will be. Therefore, integration log x dx with base e equals to x log base e x minus x plus c but notice in the question it was log 2 thus log x with base 2 equals to log x with base e into log 2 as a base 
log e. Hence, the result is thus option number A is the correct answer. Moving on to the next question. The angle between the vectors i cap minus j cap and j cap minus k cap is it can be calculated by taking the cos alpha where alpha is the angle between a cap and b cap. Let us see how to do it. Now let us take a cap or a vector equals to i cap minus j cap and b vector equals to j cap minus k cap. So the dot product is a cap a vector into b vector which is equals to 0 minus 1 plus 0 then the resultant is minus 1. Further we take mod of this independent vectors mod a mod b both of which is equals to root over 2. Now as I already said alpha being the angle between a vector and b vector we find cos alpha therefore cos alpha equals to mod of a vector into b vector by mod a vector mod b vector which is equals to minus half thus alpha equals to 2 pi by 3 this option number b is the correct answer now in the next question we have the differential coefficient of f log x with base e with respect to x where fx equals to log x base e is among the following option let's calculate and figure out this question thus we see that fx equals to log e of log ex therefore let us differentiate and find out what the answer will be therefore f dash x equals to 1 by log x with base e into 1 by x and thus this is the answer to question number 6 moving on to the next question we have to figure out the definite integral from 0 to a so fx plus f minus x dx is equal to one of the following options again let's calculate and figure out what the answer will be thus the integration will be as follows notice i have broken down the given equation to us that is 0 to a fx dx plus 0 to a f minus x dx now this is equals to 0 to a fx dx plus minus a to 0 fx dx and this comes to minus a to a fx dx and let's see which option corresponds with our answer thus option number c next we are going to do a very important question in this kind of examinations that is the rank of a matrix the following matrix is given and now we find the rank this is the given matrix to us thus the given matrix contains three columns of i3 that is mod of i3 will be equals to 1 which is not equals to 0 hence the rank is equals to 3 the correct answer is option number b that is 3 as we have already obtained now the next question might seem a bit critical we need to find the value of a for which the expressions as given in the question is true for all x the expression is an identity if a square minus 3a plus 2 
equals to 0 that is this portion and a square minus 5a plus 6 equals to 0 along with that a square minus 4 is equals to 0 all hold same at the same time frame thus a equals to 2 will be the correct answer that is option number c let's see the last question for this video which is i which ranges from 0 to pi sin x by 1 plus sin x plus cos x dx equals to j 0 to pi sin x by 1 plus sin x minus cos x dx then i equals to among the following options now let's start with simplifying i i given from 0 to pi sin x by 1 plus sin x plus cos x the further steps i have already written it down so that it becomes easy for you you can pause and check the video if you like now lastly upon simplification it comes to sin x by 1 plus sin x minus cos x dx which is nothing but the term j that is equal to j thus i equals to j will be the following expression that is option number c with this we come to an end of another great video please like subscribe and click on the notification button because we'll be uploading soon the rest of the questions and the solutions you can contact us at the number given for any doubts queries or for full videos on our different courses.